Hello my dear learners welcome to my channel my name is Namita how are you all so today's topic is step by step english learning for beginners now this topic was suggested by one of you in one some videos comment section so i thought why not that's a wonderful topic for discussion for those who have just begun their journey of spoken english now i am assuming that you are someone who has passed his or her class 10 or 12 so you had a compulsory subject called english where you had to study english so now you are someone who can read english well who can write english well who can understand english but when it comes to speaking you are struggling so we are going to address that struggle of spoken english how to begin your spoken english journey it involves five steps and this is going to make you really fluent if you follow them the first one is reading now when i say reading the first thing that comes to your mind is read newspaper no don't read a newspaper because you will read it for one day two days maybe a week but then you will leave it because the newspaper doesn't make you stick to it for very long time you don't find it interesting you have to pick something which interests you pick up a book a story book stories keep you glued to books because stories are always interesting or you can pick up novels from your interest area now how to find what am i interested in what kind of movies do you watch do you watch movies which are a bit romantic do you watch horror movies thriller movies movies related to sports which what are your general interest areas in life those kind of books are your books those are the books which are going to make you form this habit of reading forever it's not something that you're going to do now you will read forever then but for that you have to read something that you love to read so pick up novels and books according to your interest area and if you don't know anything then go for story books because stories are always interesting you can pick up story books from small children for in in junior classes whatever they have so go for it now what we have to do is we have to work on reducing our reading time suppose you are reading 10 lines in 3 to 4 minutes so now you have to reduce it to 1 and or 1 and a half minutes you have to start reading fast how will we track the time you have a phone so start recording your own voice when you are reading that's what you are going to do this is how you are going to reduce that time record the time read aloud especially when you are reading you have to read aloud don't read in your mind because then you just read mindlessly if you truly want to build your speaking skills then you have to read aloud read aloud every single day and then see that how fluent you become now i have this book called eat that frog with me okay i'll tell you how you should actually read it i'm i'm just randomly picking up any page so i'm reading this this small paragraph that is given i'm going to read it see how i am reading and you can follow the same method of reading take a good look at your desk or office both at home and at the office ask yourself what kind of a person works in an environment like that the cleaner and neater your work environment the more positive productive and confident you feel Resolve today to clean up your desk and office completely so that you feel effective, efficient and ready to get going each time you sit down to work. Now what have I done? I read it aloud. My mouth was speaking but my ears were listening and it was getting into my mind. So I was not reading mindlessly. My senses were active and involved into reading. So my mind was listening to everything. This will train my mouth to speak in English. Now from reading only we will move on to the second step which is vocabulary building when you are reading you will certainly come across certain words which will be uh, new to you now it is not difficult to figure out meaning i generally say that you have to have a dictionary but these days when you have google you have online dictionary no one buys a dictionary it's not not hard these days to figure out meaning so whenever you come across a new word write it down along with the book you need to have a diary and a pen so that you can write down the meaning of any new word that you come across now suppose while while reading this book i came across a new word called euphoria now euphoria is a new word for you euphoria is a noun and its meaning is the feeling of extreme excitement or happiness when you are very happy you are very excited it is the feeling of euphoria now how to use euphoria in a sentence if i give you an example i would say that 
looking at the euphoric mood of children the magician performed more magic tricks now you will say ma'am you've used euphoric euphoric is adjective euphoria was noun so i converted the word euphoria into euphoric and form a sentence you have to do similarly just by learning euphoria it is not enough you have to know how you will imply it into a sentence i can even make a sentence with euphoria like there is no greater euphoria than helping people through these videos so i have used euphoria also euphoric also you have to note all these things down in your diary so that you have a record of what you are learning because you can look for word of the day online there are applications which will give you a word of the day you'll read it and forget the meaning you also have to remember it and recall it when you're speaking so for that you have to write it down write the sentence and relate it to such a situation that you always remember it so building vocabulary is very important because you people always say that whenever we speak my mind goes blank it is because you don't have enough words in your mind you have to put a lot of words in this mind which where which will come from reading and vocabulary building so you should have a good vocabulary if you want to be a fluent speaker now coming to the third part after reading and vocabulary building we have to work on our pronunciation because we pronounce many words wrong just like pronounce people say it as pronunciation it is not pronunciation it's pronunciation you have to understand the difference it is not difficult these days to find out what pronunciation is the correct one you can easily google it with the pronounce app you will get to know how a word is pronounced when you are listening to different people speaking you no so listen to more podcasts listen to people listen, these kind of videos where we speak english you'll get to know which is the correct pronunciation so now there is a word called almond which you pronounce as almond because of l it is not almond it's almond the l is silent then onion is not onion it's onion onion then buffet the t is silent and it's not buffet it's buffet it is buffet then wednesday as you call it it's not wednesday it's wednesday wednesday break fast it's not break fast yes we are breaking the fast but it is breakfast the correct pronunciation is breakfast then colleague or colleague it's colleague colleague so the pronunciation is very important when you are speaking if you are speaking all the words in a wrong manner then it would not leave a good impression on the listener so you have to work on your pronunciation now comes the fourth step which is grammar you have to work on your grammar though i say don't stress much on it but you have to understand the basic sentence formation uh, there are eight parts of speech so you have to have slight knowledge about each one of them there is noun pronoun adjective adverb prepositions conjunctions interjections so you have to have an idea about each of them so if you will work on your grammar then you'll speak flawless english and that's what is important you have to have knowledge of tenses because everybody is scared of tenses and verbs so suppose if i tell you that subject plus first form of verb plus s or es plus object is a simple present tense if i tell you that then you would understand it but for formation you would try to say if i say i teach english now it is a simple present tense i teach english but when i say she for someone else i would say she teaches english because with first person we don't use s or es with second person if it is singular we would use s or es if it is plural we will not use s or es if i say they again it will be teach english she teaches english they teach english i teach english too when i want to say that uh, in a negative way i would say i don't teach english right so converting it into interrogative i would say do i teach english so this is how we form sentences so have a bit of knowledge of it i am going to link a playlist where i have created a lot of videos related to parts of speech and all of them you can just uh, click this link and then there will be a lot of videos about adjectives conjunctions uh, even tenses everything is there which you will find very helpful in building your grammar skills now coming to the fifth fifth step which is very important and that is 
practicing your english you have gained a lot of knowledge about english now you've learned new vocabulary words you've done uh, you've been doing reading and you've even worked on your grammar you're working on your pronunciation but you have to practice at the same time so speaking is important start practicing talk to a friend who is good in english if he or she is ready to talk to you otherwise you can hire a trainer for yourself there are various applications where you can pay for 15 minutes half an hour one hour if nothing you can at least talk to yourself you can stand in front of mirror and start talking to yourself self talk is the best way to become fluent in english so start talking to yourself you have to just give yourself instructions or tell a story to your own self narrate your own life story that is another way you can just tell what all happened in the day when you come back from work or school or college stand in front of mirror and tell yourself how was your day be your own best friend this helps a lot so if i have to recap the whole points that we have done then we will begin with reading then we'll move on to vocabulary building then work on our pronunciation then try to gain some grammar skills and finally we have to practice because ultimately you have to work on your spoken english so speak don't be scared of speaking so these were the steps that were involved and this is going to take you to the journey of a fluent english speaker i'm going to see you in my next video till then keep practicing your english each and every day bye bye for now